Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, you're just now seeing my face because it's been a whirlwind of a morning. Got up about five, five ah. o'clock and decided to go to the ER. My neck was hurting so bad and I decided to go get checked in. Um, it was just like what I thought. It was whiplash from the um, impact of the... Uh, me hitting the wall so hi saying hi to everybody so um they prescribed me they didn't write me any prescription they just gave me a 600 milligram of ibuprofen and told me to go to the pharmacy and pick up um voltaren ointment and just to take it easy they said it'll take about a week for it to go away straight from there we went to um the junkyard that we tried to go to yesterday at eight o'clock in the morning and they didn't have the rim for the truck so we had to go all the way to carson city which was about a 30 minute drive and when my husband went in there they told him that they don't um have an equinox which i found it online they told him that they don't have an equinox and they don't um sell rims individually and this was coming from the um the manager at pick and pull so it made it feel like it was a waste of a trip but i managed to fill up mocha with 62 dollars being that gas was 386 a gallon over there so i went inside and i spoke to a different clerk she tells me i would have to pay the two dollar entrance fee just to inquire I showed her what I was looking at online that ah. showed that they had the vehicle ah. in stock. <laughs> that it had the vehicle in stock. And she says that um they don't keep inventory on the vehicles as far as their parts or what they have or they don't have. So she's like, I could pay the $2 fee, go in there and go check myself. Ah. Mind you, it's 7 degrees up there. So... And so, because my husband went in and didn't get the response that he was looking for, I went in and got the response that I was looking for. I went to the row that they told me to go to, found the Equinox that I saw online, looked at the rims, and picked a good one that had also a good tire treads on it as well. Being that, you know, we needed two front tires. Anyway, so I go back to the front. But on my way back to the front, I find this guy because I didn't have a tire iron or anything with me. I find this guy and I asked him if he had a tire iron or anything that can take off a rim. Um, he looked at me crazy because he didn't speak English. So I had to um, translate and talk to him in Spanish. And then we ended up having a whole conversation. So um, I went to the front, asked him, being that the, the rim was sprayed orange, if I can take the rim. So she's like, is it aluminum? I was like, it's the factory stock rim that comes on the Chevy Equinox. So she's like, it'll be $50.87. I said, okay. I, I said, can I go to my car and get my tire iron so I can take it off? So I go to the car, get the tire iron, tell my husband that they do have the car there and they do have the rim. So he was like, the dang, the dang on um, manager didn't want to help me. So I ended up having to um, go back inside and... Um, walk up to where the car was mind you i ended up falling a few times <laughs> as it was Pl playing with your sock so i ended up falling a few times because it was walking on ice that hurt and i find the guy at the car and he's taking off other parts as well but as i start to um start to you know try to size the tire iron to the lug nut um I can't get it off. The car is elevated, so it's not letting me go to the point in um, using the tire iron to try to get it off. So he ends up having to get his drill bit and the socket to go ahead and take it off. So he takes it off for me. Then I had to wheel it from the car to the cart that I had to grab, put it in the cart along with my tire iron, and walk it back to the location of the store fell two more times I tell you I'm, i got two left feet so um once we got the tire i paid for it, it was fifty dollars and 87 cents then we found 
a tire shop to where I can go ahead and have them give me a new tire for the other side, which was the passenger side that I needed a tire for. I needed two front tires. So being that the spare, the, um, the one that we just picked up from the, the junkyard was like literally like a brand new dang on tire. Um, all I had to do was just get them to mount that one and give me a tire for the other side. That ended up being seventy dollars. So sixty to sixty two to fill her up, fifty for the rim, and seventy for the other tire for them to mount it and balance it and all the other stuff. <sighs> okay. We come home and I'm driving home. My tire pressure sensor goes off. Why does that happen? I'll tell you why does that happen. I don't know. So I have to call the tire shop to find out why, because they're telling me that it could be the tire sensor inside the tire, which happens to be the one that I got from the um the junkyard that might be bad on there. I'm like, no tires, no no air pressure is leaking, but it's reading blank blank as far as the PSI. And other tires are in the 40s, like 44. But that one doesn't give me any PSI. It's not flat. It's not doing anything. It's just the tire sensor is not reading um, a pressure. So, um, as far as that goes, <laughs> I'm tired. Okay? I'm tired. Um, I didn't sleep good last night because of my neck bothering me. So, as far as food goes, because this is supposed to be what I eat in a day... <laughs> This morning, what do we have? My husband goes to McDonald's. He orders a sausage McMuffin meal. Um, and I order two hash browns. So I have the two hash browns. He has his uh he has his sausage McMuffin meal. Then when we went to the tire shop to get the tire mounted across the street, we went to Wendy's. I got a five dollar biggie bag. I had a couple of french fries. I had one chicken nugget and a and half of the junior bacon cheeseburger. My husband had the rest and he gave the baby some uh, chicken nuggets and a french fry as well. So that's pretty much all that we had while we were out and about. Came home and started straightening up things. Um, I've gone through two or three boxes of clothes already to put away putting them in the closet there. Um, ah, what? Ah, what? See yourself? <laughs> um, my husband went to go do laundry. He went to walk the dogs. And I also had a honey bun. So I'm not eating according to plan, according to my goals or anything like that for today. Um, I don't know what else I might have to eat if I have anything else to eat. I don't know. I'm tired. Um, but tomorrow, like I mentioned yesterday, I was supposed to mention what I plan on doing for February. And what I'm intending on doing for the month of February is going carnivore. Any and all animal products. And that includes cheese and heavy cream, cream cheese, sour cream, things like that. Um, fish, pork, chicken, um, beef. I plan on doing carnivore for the month of February. And the vlogs will continue. I weighed in this morning at 259.4. So that's my weight going into the month of February. And my goal for February will be to get at least down to 250 on the dot. So I have nine pounds to get close to losing for the month of February. I can do it. I just have to be accountable and stick to plan and make sure that I, you know, don't deviate like I've done this month with my emotional stress. So it just felt like every time I turned around... It was something or another for the month of January. So, um, besides that, I plan on um, 
finishing off the food that's in the house as far as my husband he'll probably take the leftovers if there's any leftovers because I'm like I mentioned last night we had the KFC bowls and all I ate was a few spoonfuls of the mashed potatoes corn and gravy and ate the rest of the chicken but I will come back to you guys if I have anything else to eat for the night and if I don't I'll still come back and let you know All right, guys, I'll check in with you later. It's still early, it's still light outside, and I still have the bracelet on from the hospital. What a day it's been. Hey guys, it's about 2.15 to 16. I just had um, a serving of the chicken Alfredo. Um, just only like one serving left, so. And Little man fell asleep on me, and I'm going to try to take a nap. As much as I want to keep trying to put things away, I'm tired, and it's cold. So, Plus, when my husband comes home, we'll have to put laundry away. I love him so much. If you ever ask me what's the best part of having BSG, him. He's my outcome of the best thing that happened to me from having BSG. I'll talk to you guys hey later. Hey guys, it's 319. I'm just leaving Walmart. <clears throat> they didn't have what I was looking for, which was cat food for Bam Bam. Their shelves were like freaking naked. But I did find the Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Strawberries and Cream. I've been on the hunt for this, um, like for a while now. They had it in the Sacramento location, but not mine. I also got me some blueberry, some blackberries. And my last meal of the day will be six ranch wings that I got from the deli. I also picked up um, 90 10 uh, ground beef, 2.2, uh, five pounds. I'm gonna make some meatloaf for the hubsters. I picked up some beefy onion mix and I'm gonna mix into that and also the apple pie. Um, that's gonna be the last thing that I'm gonna eat today. So I'm gonna have the wings, the blackberries, and the pie, I'm not even going to bother with the meatloaf. Um, but I do want to try this um, drink here. It smells good. It's alright. Probably be better cold. But I'm going to end the vlog here another short vlog today and um i'll check on with you guys tomorrow for the first of the month carnivore month yeah the way that i'm gonna make the meatloaf is i'm gonna put ground um pork rinds instead of breadcrumbs that way i can have that tomorrow i'm gonna mix egg with it and whatnot but yeah I'm going to have my blackberries, my chicken wings, and my apple pie and call it a night. So, it's 321. I'm getting ready to leave. I'll check in with you guys for tomorrow's vlog. Hey guys, I'm just leaving Sack and Save Food Store. I don't know. It's <laughs> some new store near us where I was able to find Bam Bam's food. I also have one blackberry left. I have yet to have my um, apple pie, and um, I think I only had two chicken wings. Yeah, I have four left, so I'll finish those. But I just wanted to come and tell you guys how my phone call went that I just had with my job that I do overnight as far as um, being a caregiver. 
Uh, if you remember me mentioning to you that they wanted to offer me a resident liaison position, well, being at the company is still new, they're still growing and things like that. They are trying to branch out, so they can't hire me on full time with the position just yet because they're still growing. But I have a part in that. Um, they're looking for someone to hire, interview, train, wear all the hats. Um, so it'll be pretty much um, like in a director type of setting um, to where I'm going to be being trained on how to train, being trained on how to interview, being trained on how to hire, being trained to, um, to you know, to participate in marketing and sales and everything like that. So, um, it's going to be five days a week, Wednesday through Sunday. I'll be off probably Monday, Tuesday. I get an additional hundred bucks if I do any on-call days on the weekends. I have the options well, it's kind of mandatory that I do a couple of 24-hour shifts, which, um, being that it's a family company, it's a small company, um, I get to bring my baby with me. So that's super exciting to where I don't have to worry about him going into any type of child care right now. And um, I spoke with the owner and his wife because his wife is the one, his wife and his, her, his daughter are the ones that pretty much made the company um and yeah guys so um i it being that it's still just only part-time right now um with the in this with the incentive of getting more hours and things like that i can still keep dominoes if i want periodically and just pretty much be like on call with them as well and do dominoes as needed more so than what I've been doing. Sorry about the, the glare of the sun. It's kind of hard to try to hide that, but I hope you guys can see me a little bit better. But um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this job opportunity, but I wanted to share that with you guys. So yeah, I'm um, you know they they're aware about the car situation they're aware about my husband's schedule they're you know they know about dominoes they know about everything and it's good to wear as like i told her i was like i have no problem working whatever schedule is available just good communication is absolutely key with me because of the car situation there's only one car in the family right now so yay me but I had to tell y'all. I had to keep y'all involved in everything. You know, y'all, y'all, y'all keep me accountable. Y'all keep me grounded. So this is just another blessing, and yeah. So I'm pulling into my apartment complex right now. Um, my husband came home obviously, and um, he was folding laundry when I got there. He went to the laundry the laundry room and washed all our clothes. I was putting clothes away until Junior fell asleep. So I know the baby's probably up by now. That's a little my, my little prince. So anyways, just wanted to let you guys know the good news. So I have a phone call in the morning about eight o'clock. I can either um, go into the office or um, have them call me on uh, Google something or another. So. I'm just backing into my parking space right now and yeah alrighty guys yay <laughs> see you tomorrow